here we are again we are playing the Ismail I think this is the Russian tier 6 and uh, I guess well I have like 20k left to actually get tier 7 and uh, I have said a couple of words about the Ismail the Ismail during my streaming but I guess I could I could said, say those things again given this will always be available although most of the time there will always be better reviewers than me and better known and more likely to be seen and foreseen before me nonetheless the tier 6 Russian battleship as you know as you can obviously see all the time it has four triple guns 357 millimeters which means you can citadel all the cruisers if they broadside to you and some battleships even the North Carolina it's tier 6 what's amazing about it the spread on the guns is amazing Enemy force detected. I mean I really do love it I love the spread on the guns if you are top tier like I am in this one <laughs> and I just have realized this um, you can have a lot of fun you just have to stay alive the reload time is also incredible on the battleships on the on the Russian ships actually that's very fast I mean that's 36 reload time you can just repair most of the time let's show you the spread hopefully I'm gonna get a lucky spread although that one is moving I'm not gonna shoot him and that's too far away and it's gonna get too far away rather soon and let's see about the spread although I think I'm gonna miss it like look at that it, it's it's amazing although I'm gonna miss my shots big time but nonetheless the spread is just lovely I'm in love with this ship just because of the spread although I'm gonna miss it trying to make a top 6 I mean a top tier 6 this would be just there this would be it battleship wise to say the least Need to be careful on that destroyer good thing there was the island otherwise I might have died pointlessly or well maybe not die but at least I would have taken shitload of damage if he's gonna turn he's most likely going to die I don't even know what tier it is might be a 5 or it's a 6 it's a 6 but nonetheless it's not like it matters would it were I mean it's most likely to one shot a tier 8 cruiser instead of a tier 6 because you're gonna over pen it like this that's the that's the thing on battleships you aim in the middle because they have less protection on the middle on cruisers you have to aim for below the guns to actually hit citadels because that's what you want also the the speed of the salvos is, is very good that's a lovely lovely spread we just got four penetrations but then that's good enough it's 13k out of a salvo without 
a citadel, which is again lovely. There's a destroyer, I'm not inclined to do much here. Should slow down, I should be careful about it. One of the downsides of the, 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 the battleship, of this battleship, is that it's, it's generally slow. It's like on 27 knots speed or something. And the turning isn't that great either. And as well, it's 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 huge. It's it's a huge ship horizontally. And the guns, yes, the downside of it though. The downsides that I see of it, it's it's well the speed, the its dimensions are a problem, but. At the same time, the gun's position, it's rather, well, I'm looking for a, for a word for it that would describe it better than a normal, casual world, word, but I'm not finding it. It's, well, rather brain dead to say the least. I mean, you would have to, to, to go broadside most of the time to hit all your shots. But when you do, boy, when you do, it's, it's just great. I'm just gonna aim for here, although I'm gonna miss those. Haven't thought them through. Still worried about that destroyer. What's that guy doing? Dunkirk? Why would you do that? I mean, the Dunkirk has the, the, those two frontal guns. You can just stay frontally, you can just stay frontally with your ship and just hit everything. Also, if I were to recommend the ship, a tier 7 ship, to get, it's the Nelson, which I have in my hangar. But that's some, some other discussion for some other time. I would love to know where that destroyer is. I'm quite unsafe here. I'm gonna switch to AG. Oh, there is that DD. I either slow down or I either go in. And either the Dunkirk will get torped, either I am, but that smoke is certainly from the destroyer. We only have one destroyer left and it's on our side. They always had one destroyer, <laughs> nevertheless. There you are. Uh, well, he's not the greatest destroyer player ever. Missed my shots, but then I have a couple left. I'm just gonna turn away. Was not the greatest idea as of all. is gonna be rather boring unless I die from the distance whoop never mind not even sure just three penetrations gonna repair this rather dangerous rather very dangerous never mind he's not that good Whoop. And 
Get away. That's one cannon though. Only one cannon. And we missed. Wait, I slowed down way too much. That spread though. All stations reporting the position of a strategic target. We got the fire on him. But he did the repair though. He might die soon from our next salvo because he repaired obviously from our damage number not scaling up not going up that was the first salvo now here we are ready to strike him But we didn't set a fire on him. He's supposed to fire anytime soon. And but his repair party will be ready, so we will turn it. Honestly, I was thinking I could record this, this whatever play session I would have, whatever game session, playing session I would have, and just talk about different stuff. I find myself in a position, well, not, well, let's say not say position, but in a, in a mindset that helps me have a proper say in, in, in in any above average discussion or even average not meaning to be condescending there at the same time i would love some inputs on which subjects i could talk you about i mean torpedoes, direct front. Torpedoes to port. say i could talk about torpedoes, philosophy right. for example what find I find bothering, at least from my point of view, to say the least, is that many people that have read Nietzsche, or nonetheless, yeah, let's let's say Nietzsche, Friedrich Nietzsche, the German philosopher, who wrote Da spoke Zarathustra. If I were to, uh, that's that's that would be the first book I would I would advertise him with. A lot of people see him as a nihilist and as arrogant. Maybe he was arrogant, or maybe he is, or at least the way he writes, he's arrogant. But the arrogance is not really much of a factor in facts. Nevertheless, the idea that Nietzsche was a nihilist is preposterous to say the least if he was to mean one thing he would mean to actually live your life and enjoy every little thing there is or anything there is I mean even the hardships that you have especially your hardships he was in some of his moments he would be grateful even for the hardships that some people put him through which is mind you amazing and at one point i well at this point i could even point out what i have realized a couple of days ago or nonetheless the, the time is pointless the time is non-essential to the idea 
I, I was in a restaurant, in a Romanian restaurant called Nene Iancu and um, it's a it's Ion Luca Caragiales nickname and he was a Romanian writer and um, he was saying a lot of stuff he, he did write theater stories as well sometimes I don't have the proper words at me but nonetheless you're getting the point getting back to it because I might lose track sometimes um, he did write a lot of stuff about politics, about politicians, about society. Uh, I'm not gonna say he was amazing or he was a genius, but he had common sense, which as it is right now as well, even in this moment, it's rather rare. And he lived 100 years ago. Even more. Yeah, well, around 100 years ago anyway. And uh, in that restaurant there was this quote from him. I, I can't really reconstruct it that well. But he did say that uh, we had some morals, some ethics but we're not having them anymore. Not saying Romanian-wise, although I think he did, because there wasn't much communication back then between countries and all. There was some, but not a lot, but nonetheless. Uh, so what hit me was that I was thinking the same couple of years ago, and uh, that we lost our ethics and that there are no ethics and morals anymore nowadays but what hit me more is that I have realized that the thing might be we might never might have never have had them which is quite the thing All stations requesting fire on the designated target because I don't think there was ever properly cherished or even properly imposed by society or whoever would be responsible for it. So I think morals and ethics, we never had them properly there. So, yeah, that's really something that hit me very well, and I think in time we will, we will, or we will not, I don't know, but at the same time it's an, it's an uplifting thought to think that we never had morals, because it means that there's a chance, there, there's a slightly cool chance that we might be getting it, May, we might be getting them one day as a civilization, as a country, as an whatever. I, I find it... Uh, unlikely for people to actually watch this for the for the chat but then it's rather boring to actually watch someone play world of warships or yeah let's say world of tanks it's much more action based and all but then uh, it's a good it's a good game to ha actually have a have a discussion about stuff somewhere 
I just have to chisel my my discussions well enough in order to to make it last more than a couple of episodes because it, it can be some good content because even more so I'm not let's say I'm not gonna say I'm lazy although I am lazy but somewhere along the way I've always been against chiseling something to be perfect for example in my previous uploaded video which is uploading in the moment that I'm speaking and I played XCOM Enemy Unknown and I heard myself breathing in the in the video I'm not sure about right now I've tried to move my microphone further away it might pick up my voice just as well Hopefully it's not gonna be my breathing again. I do breathe heavily. I intend on quit quitting smoking. Although what I'm gonna do right now is smoke a cig. So not sure how well that thing is going. Being rational enough though, I would say that's not going as planned. Nevertheless. At the same time, given that in the previous video that's going to be uploaded <laughs> at the moment that I'm speaking, it's gonna. Well, uh, you are getting it, fuck it. So, uh, at the same time, if I were to recommend. Uh, not recommend, but like imply that there is a TV series. that could uh, present good ethics and morals or like to be an example something to um, it would be let's just cut it short I would have Doctor Who as the representation of what good morals and ethics are although sometimes it might be controversial in some cases I do love the doctor the idea of it I was once finding myself in the doctor because I really did feel all alone like all alone with my whole mentality and all the goodness that was lacking in the world and that it is still lacking in the world but uh, lately I think I have found my soulmate so it's, I'm not feeling that lonely again that alone again Well, in Doctor Who would be a good start at the same time even the Bible is a good start but let's not uh, that's again controversial yes the, so many things are controversial nowadays that's 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 a very intriguing thing about the society nowadays because everything is getting controversial from religion to models to television to whatever we're finally as a as a as a species maybe not all of them to, to be to be honest maybe not all of us but uh, as a species we're starting to question many things we could say we did that all the time, but at the same time it wasn't that obvious. 
and we didn't have all that many possibilities to actually question ourselves and share our findings but now that we have internet we have means of explaining ourselves sometimes you are maybe not able to express your ideas with only with words only using words so now you have videos you have pictures you have a lot of ways of actually showing it that's a good thing i find the internet one of the best things that ever happened I'm gonna get myself into the idea about overusing anything, overdosing anything because if I were to say that I would definitely be one of those that have overdosed with internet although that would be improper because I haven't overdosed myself with internet, I have overdosed myself with content, with explanations, with questions, and sometimes answer, answers. And I define myself, you know, after a couple of years, I have spent questioning everything. Even, even why I breathe, although <laughs> that's, that's quite a dumbass question, isn't it? I mean, it, for example, right now, that's a dumbass question. I breathe because my whole body is the result of millions, millions of years of evolution and adaptation. And because I breathe, and I breathe so well, I smoke. Because, you know, why not, why not cripple all that adaptation? That's... Isn't that like... Come on now, that's, that's retarded and funny at the same time. Many of the people I know are smoking. What I find awesome, if you ask me, or if you listen to me, because you're not gonna actually ask me right now, are you? But you can do that in the comments and they can answer you, maybe in the in the next next video or something. Um, I did forget my point there. Alright, what I find very awesome is that in Russia, they... Uh, give me a sec. I birthed there. Maybe you needed, didn't need that explanation, but yeah. Uh, nevertheless, in Russia they gave out a law that denies the people that weren't 18 until the law was uh, out to not be able to buy cigarettes ever ever and that's brilliant if you ask me that's that's brilliant that's that's the way to stop so many smokers to emerge ever again and i would i would impose such a law everywhere in the world that's one of the best laws ever especially with this time of the existence yeah we're, uh, we're in a bit of a problem here I think this is rather lost
but it wasn't. Yeah, the blow that's brilliant, and it should be applied everywhere in the in the world and in the match. That's just another loss, unless I want to show the dunker. Which I find unlikely, uh, especially because I've loaded AG instead of AP. So yeah, definitely one of the reasons why slow down, slow down, come on Oof. No, come on. Yes, we're about to get a tier 7. Not now, but in the... In the next match, or the one after the next one. Whoops, sorry about that, boy. I mean, that's so real about that, boy. Capturing as well. Let's prepare. Maybe we get to break down, bring down the cruiser in time. We did stole them, didn't we? Ouch. Yeah. We might even have torpedoes. The Monte Cucoli. Is that its name? Monte Cucoli. My bad. I'm the last hope. Am I now? Well, you are supposed to be dead, though. But you're not, because I overly penetrated you. Yay! Can I survive? Much enough in order to... Nope! <laughs> nope! <laughs> was wondering <laughs> that, nah, that was much unlikely. Yeah, I need like 2k more or something. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, 1k and a little bit. Let's see. Maybe it gets me 750 free experience. Might just not care and convert all the rest that's needed. Nope. I'm still gonna have to play, but you know what? I'm gonna play with Nelson so I can present you this. And I'm also gonna get the, the free experience needed. Let me check about the flags all right all the flags are here so the nelson that's the battleship that you get with 300k free experience i think it's rather easy to get so much free experience that's lovely Honestly, World of Warships is a much more playable game than the um, than World of Tanks in one way. I did play like 30k total matches in in 
World of Tanks, I think. But uh, that's that's in beta as well. Might have even more now. 30, 40k or something. In total. You can they do give proper rewards. You have the container thingies. Although even World of Tanks is, is rather good. And lately I haven't been playing it lately. And they do have their events. Good luck and fair seas. They had that racing event. <laughs> that was hella fun. So, let me tell you about the Nelson. Nelson is a tier 7 battleship, British battleship, which makes its repair party to recover even heavy damage. And uh, has triple triple guns in front, all of them. They can both move so easily. You have this space, you can see this. You can just... It's like the Dunkirk. But like better. The guns are 407 millimeters, I think. Where can I check this? I'm not sure I can check this here. Nonetheless, I think they are 407 millimeters, which is amazing, amazingly good, especially for a tier seven. Nine guns that can easily penetrate many. Battleships, you just have to aim well. That area. Although doesn't have the best the best spread, but it will get you going. Nevertheless, it doesn't have a fighter, but that's that would have been overpowered, wouldn't it? A fighter or a well, scout plane, but whoever uses that. Although, that was my opinion that's been formed like two years ago. Now that I'm thinking about the, the view that you have, you can use it very, very properly. It's for tactical players All stations. brother Position more tactical than target. anything Course. Ah, I'm gonna miss those. Am I? Never mind. Am I? Am I? Well, definitely not hit much anyway, so. Range is what 18.2 again, very good one. And uh, the fact that it has those cannons up front makes it lovely as hell. Yeah, on some other point of view. We could talk about Lucifer. For example, not only the TV series, but the TV series is included. I, I, I'm not much of a guy that thinks about hell or heaven. 
in the end, after searching for some answers and reasons and everything, I got myself to think that it doesn't matter if God exists or not, or if there's a hell, there's a heaven, whatever. But in the end, I got myself to think that it doesn't matter because I'm gonna live my life the very way I think and the way the very way I have learned to see it and to live it. When I have my own morals and ethics and well at the same time that doesn't make me a bad person. There was a good point I forgot in which T V series or film or whatsoever. But why is it hard to live without God or without the idea of God is that no one does the forgiving for you, you have to do the forgiving for yourself, which makes it the, one of the hardest things, because it's amazing how much negative thoughts everyone can have about them. Not amazing. Let's not not let's not praise that. Let's say saddening and crippling that I is having a hell of a time. So yes, it's it's crippling for people that think a lot when you see how many bad things they can think about themselves. One of the best quotes ever. I'm not gonna tell you whom said it first. You can search it, you're gonna find it, surely. It's, it's the next one. The best people end up in hell because they can't forgive themselves which hit me very hard at first nevertheless I was getting at the point about Lucifer and heaven, hell, whatever if I were to take in discussion the idea of Lucifer Everyone just points out that Lucifer or Satan is like a terrible creature that extremely like negative even in looks. I mean if you were to make a superhero movie or film or book right now, the very way you would describe the antagonist, the villain, would be in the very same way Satan is described as. In some ways revolutionary, and but especially negatively looking and thinking. So let's say when the Bible was created, written, but let's not get about, let's not start about the Bible. The whole idea of Satan and how it was created, it just points out negative things and how you shouldn't, what you shouldn't like. But, if people say that Satan makes you think about good stuff, and if we were to take an example, the Lucifer from the TV series, some of you might hate it, I know, because it's, it's very casual, but it's funny as fuck. The TV series is funny as hell. I didn't mean the joke, but it, it's, it's there. <laughs> so, if I were to think and to like, Think of a Lucifer and imagine it 
it would be the kind of a Lucifer that's in the TV series. The one that does inappropriate jokes, the one that does a lot of overdose, the one that whores a lot. But then what the TV series does, it does it makes it that w when even Lucifer falls in love, then whatever bad he represents falls apart. And at the same time, let's let's not take only the the whole Lucifer is a good guy that just wants to have fun and and he represents the amazing the cool stuff that you can do and and fun and everything. But it's also the fact that the TV series makes him look or creates him in the premise that God, his father, sent him to punish bad people. He doesn't want that. Maybe he likes that. Because in the TV series, whenever he does that, he just feels more like himself. I think I lost it there, because I lost myself as well. So yes, if I were to think of a Lucifer, it would be one guy that's that's very punished by the world, by the people, by the humans. And if I were, let's say, if you were a half father of a person, of someone, and you would make others think of him as terrible being and make them go from the very premise that he represents all that's wrong I think that wouldn't be really cool from Lucifer points of view or whatever kind hearted people you would have around and I would find Lucifer more human than most because we always find better and better better and better ways than most of our forefathers well, that, one, that was an overkill all I've meant was we will find better and better ways than our parents or if not better, we will still think we can. If we don't find them, we still want to find them. We Kids. As kids. Two parents. We're always going to be revolutionary. And what's funny is that even parents will always be... Um, discouraging of it. Even the father of the person that found the fire, that discovered fire, was saying, The fuck are you doing with that? We can do very well without the fire. No, father, no. We can cook food with this. And we can get warm and, and, and like sleep near it and all. Uh, shit doesn't matter <laughs> it's shit it's shit son it's shit but no it was lit it was lit boy just like this ending and uh, yes that was about it I'm just gonna research this I could open the container just for the fun of you fun of mine Ooh. who would have thought nevertheless just let me exit this I don't want to do this let me exit and stop this so yes people um, I hope my voice is going to be alright in the video I haven't tested it 
Although I pretty much bet there was a lot of heavy breathing. But I'm gonna leave you to it. And uh, have a good one. And see you next time, people. Bye-bye.